There is a deep, a profound spirit of unforgiveness in the black community over slavery and Jim Crow. It is as if it just ended yesterday in the minds of many. And the moment you start talking about race, it comes up. We can't seem to get past it. And, and many of us are not preaching forgiveness and reconciliation. And what I try to do, and, and what, you, what Bishop Harry Jackson just said is absolutely true, but you can't even get there if people think, what are you all up to? And the man's out to get me. They, you know, and, and there's no trust, there's no basis for communication. And what I say to people is you've got to put America in the context, and this is the analogy I've used. Every time a black guy commits some crime, one of the first things we talk about is, wow, look at the poverty, look at the lack of a father in the home, look at, and we try to put in context his behavior, but we don't ever try to put in context what happened in America. We don't try to put in context and say, well, what was the nature of the age? What was George Washington raised like? You know, we, those, they, they were slave owners. And we don't ask, well, wait a minute, if you, if you if from a child, you're taught this is the way of the world. This is the way God intended. We ought to be amazed that some of them were able to say, wait a minute, something's wrong with this. So we don't, we don't try to put this in context. And the church is where that ought to happen so that we can begin to look at one another as, bro as brothers and sisters in Christ and help lead our country past this stuff as opposed to continuing to wallow in it. When you add, James, I'll stop here, but when you add a young man growing up in a home without a father, and I lived in a foster home for the first 10 years of my life. And I tell people, I've been on both sides of it. I was bitter. I was angry. My attitude was, my father's not here to tell me what to do. You're not telling me what to do. You add to that somebody speaking into their ear. You know, the white people have done, look, they held us in slavery. Look, look at Jim Crow. And then you, you spin a myth that police are out hunting down black men killing them intentionally, and then going home, or, you know, being paid to go home and relax for a few weeks. You've got a formula where it becomes very, very difficult to even get to the economic, political, policy issues that we can begin to address with people. So please pray for forgiveness in the black community to take root.